finding a goal or a vision or a purpose in life for young people is quite hard. And I do work with teenagers every day and I want to challenge you with this little bit different way of approaching finding goals and purpose with your teenagers. I'm Natasha Fisser and hit that subscribe button if you want to uh, receive more videos like this. Now, finding a vision or a goal or a purpose in life is quite hard, especially when our teenagers are still young or it's very young in their lives, or even if you're older. Now, we tend to ask, what do you want? What do you want out of life? What do you really want? And that's a great question. And that's good, but I tend to see that the teenager doesn't really have a good answer for that. They don't really know what they want. So I have a better question that I like to ask them that I find actually challenge them better. Okay, and I asked them, what struggle are you willing to live with? What problem are you willing to solve the rest of your life? Now, let's put this in a practical uh, way so that we can, that it makes better sense. So let's use the example when we choose to become a business person, an entrepreneur, or maybe working for somebody, maybe for being an employer. All right. So the first thing is, if you choose employing, you want to be um, a business banker. Let's, uh, let's say you want to become a banker. And when you choose that, you actually choose stability, a monthly income, having a boss, and having a nine to five job. That's fantastic. Now, tend to then when we talk to kids about that, no, I don't wanna be work for a boss, okay? But you are choosing the struggle. If you choose to work for a boss, you are choosing to live with being confined to the hours of your employer. That is the struggle or problem you're going to face. But the joy of that is you've got stability, you know where your money comes from every month. Being an entrepreneur, all right, now you have this fantastic freedom. You can work whenever you want, when you want to, uh, how many hours you want to. But the struggle or the problem you're going to live with is you might not have a stable income. You might have some months you don't have any income, all right? And you will also have the struggles of starting up the business. But if that is the problem you are willing to live with, to be that successful business person, entrepreneur, that is a problem your child wants to embrace. Now we tend to just focus on the fantastic, wonderful things, but we want to teach our children to embrace the problems or embrace the struggles. And that's the power of the question, asking them what problem or struggle are you willing to live with? You're going to need to sustain that problem the rest of your life if you choose that problem, okay? So what we tend to do is just dream about them. And that's fantastic. Let's dream about all the fantastic advantages of whatever goal they set. But we need to embrace the struggle with that. Let's use the example of being an athlete. It's wonderful wanting to win that certain um, uh, competition. But what struggle are your child are willing to live with by being coming a professional athlete. They're going to um, be away from friends. When everybody is be, uh, busy with friends and going out on a Friday night, your child might go need to go to bed and rest for the, the competition the next day. Going to give up certain foods, going to give up luxuries of sleeping in late, all right? But that is the struggle they are willing to embrace for that goal that they are setting. We tend to just focus on the goal. Make sure that your child understand the problem or the struggle they're going to live with when they're choosing that goal. And if they don't have any goal, maybe start with the question, what problem are you willing to live with? And that's a good place to start to get them thinking about what do they want. Because if they think about the negative, they think of what they really want. And then we know they will be able to sustain this journey of life because they are willing to live with that struggle and they want it's fun to go and solve that problem every day. Being an engineer, for example, they need to do problem solving on certain uh, technical things every day. If your child doesn't have the patience to do that, that's not a struggle they are willing to live with every day. Maybe they need to consider a different alternative. So embrace some problems, see what problems your children are willing to live with, and that will give them the first steps into the direction they want to live their life uh, as they grow up. Thanks for listening, and I hope to see you again soon.